I'm sure you've noticed that at different points of the day, it's easier to pay attention, but at other points of the day, it's more difficult to focus. This is because your ability to pay attention is controlled by your circadian rhythm or your daily internal clock. Almost every organism has a circadian rhythm which controls things like your metabolism, your hormones, your sleep cycle, among many other processes, including your ability to focus and pay attention. One popular hypothesis as to why we have a circadian rhythm is that it allows us to be able to anticipate changes in the daily environment rather than just reacting to those, in, those changes. However, surprisingly few studies have actually tested this idea, and that's what my research aims to do. We're gonna look at a couple different spiders that seem to have evolved different circadian strategies in response to availability of prey. Say hello to Metazygia. Metazygia is a spider that feeds on prey that's readily available right after dusk. So the black marks on the middle graph show when the spider was active and paying attention. The gray shaded areas are when the lights were off, and then these white areas are when the lights were on. So you can see this spider is a nocturnal spider that starts its activity precisely 30 minutes after the lights go out. And that pattern continues even if the lights don't come back on. And that's how we know that this spider's activity is under circadian control. The pattern persists even without external cues. Metazygia is like a fancy restaurant that only does dinner service. There's a rush of patrons right at the very beginning of the night, but as the night wears on, few new customers come in. Metazygia has to be able to allocate their attention where it's most beneficial, just like the servers at the restaurant. The Black Widow, on the other hand, is more like a college bar. It's open all night with customers coming in at any given point during the night. They can't pay attention all night long, so they end up having to break up their attention in clumps. Both of these spiders are exposed to a daily light-dark cycle. So let's take that to the extreme. The spider that I'm studying, Meadow Vallis, lives in the total darkness of caves. Meadow Vallis is more like a Waffle House. Open 24-7, she has to be ready to scatter, smother, and cover any prey that comes her way <laughs> at any given point. Although she lives without a 24-hour day, we found that they have a really strong circadian rhythm. My study is testing the benefits of having a circadian rhythm in an environment with no rhythm. If we can begin to understand how spiders have been able to adapt their circadian rhythms to be the best foragers they can be, then we as humans can begin to understand how we may be able to adapt our rhythms to most benefit our goals. I'd like to thank you for your focus and attention. <laughs>